Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. Study the diagrams below carefully, in which circuits would the bulbs light up. When we see a question that uses drawings of bulbs and batteries instead of circuit symbols, we have to pay close attention to the drawings to check if the batteries and bulbs are connected properly. For this question, we need to check the bulbs. I have already drawn a giant bulb with the inner parts visible so that you can see more clearly. Two points must be in contact with the circuit, the metal casing of the light bulb and the metal tip of the light bulb. This will allow electricity to flow through the filament, causing the bulb to light up. A common misconception is that these two points must be joined with wires for the bulb to light up. This is not true. It is possible for us to place the bulbs in direct contact with the battery, like in option A, or even the bulbs touching each other, like in option D. We must check that the metal casing and the metal tips of the bulbs are connected to the circuit. So let's take a look at option A. Metal casing of the bulb is touching the battery, and metal tip is touching the wire. Can electricity flow through the filament of the bulb? Yes, it can. Will this bulb light up? Yes, it will. Let's take a look at options B and C. Check those two points. What is the issue with option B? Yes, the metal casing is not connected to the circuit. What about option C? Yes, the metal tip is not connected to the circuit. Can electricity flow through the filaments of bulbs B and C? No, it cannot. Will these two bulbs light up? No, it will not. Let's take a look at our last option. Are the metal casings and metal tips of both bulbs connected to the circuit? Yes, they are. Can electricity flow through the filaments of both bulbs? Let's check. Yes, they can. Will both bulbs light up? Yes, they will. So bulbs will light up for options A and D, giving us the answer as number 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!